October 28th. What is one of the things that we need to do if we're fishing calm water? Good morning, guys and girls. October 28th. October 28th, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. And you know, we put some of these into shorts. Pat's made those into shorts and stuck them up on TikTok and some various things. And somebody said, Jimmy, what book are you reading from? Well, we just have given a tip. We hadn't done what we do here on the Catch a Better Life channel, a scripture from the Word of God, a devotional built around fishing, and a fishing tip. And uh, so I had to tell them we're reading from a Catch a Better Life book. This book's available at Bass Pro Shop. Cabela's, Hobby Lobby, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, or you can get it at JimmyHouston.com. If you want yours personalized, autographed, or you wanted a gift, it's a great gift. It's in the gift book category. Christmas is just around the corner. It's a wonderful Christmas gift for as many people as you want to buy an inexpensive Christmas gift for. Very inexpensive. It will absolutely change somebody's life for the better. This channel, get on this channel on YouTube. Catch a better life, just what the book says. And uh, we read this every morning uh, when we put the postseason at 5 o'clock in the morning. I know it's not daylight at 5 o'clock in the morning where you live. It's not daylight at 5 o'clock in the morning where I live. But on October 28th, we're looking at the book of Proverbs. And it says 1127 is what we're going to look at. And it says, he who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. So if you're going to seek good, God's going to give you favor. If you're going to seek evil, evil's going to come to you, without a doubt. Trouble's going to come. You're going to have problems if you are seeking evil. Lots of people in this world, lots of people in our country right now seek after evil and not good. Here's what I wrote about that. Fishing, fishing is definitely a grown-up's game of hide-and-seek. Sure, modern electronics like our Garmin LiveScope have helped tremendously, but we still have those desperate times when we can't locate fish. I still have those, even with the electronics we have nowadays, times when I just can't figure them out. I've said it often that point jumping has bailed me out many times. Point jumping is simply like a frog. Go from point to point to point to point to point. Just run down the lake fish every point you come to. Ironically, and this is pretty strange, just the opposite works well. Just as about as well. Just the opposite of fishing the points, fishing the tail ends of the pockets. Again, you simply go from pocket to pocket to pocket, fishing only the very tail end of each one. Whether they're little pockets or big pockets makes no difference. If you have a big creek, you just go up in every little arm of that creek, every little pocket. Doing a combination of the two works well. Stop on a point, run to the end. Stop on a point, run to the end. If you hit one where you catch them on the point, then in the end, I'd fish down the banks some as well. Finding God is a much easier task. Very easy to find God. Obviously, we can see the hand of God and his work all around us. We see God and we see his work and what he's created and what he's doing. We see that every day. We find him by talking with him. We find him by reading his word. We seek God by praying and by praying often. That's how we locate God. The more we read God's words, the closer that he comes to us. God is always right at our fingertips, right at our fingertips. We just need to reach out, take his mighty hand, take his mighty hand. When you do, get ready, get ready. God is about to release his favor and his enormous blessings. When we reach out and take hold of God's mighty hand, when we seek him out, put him first in everything we do, he does enormously fantastic things in our life. He creates in us blessings we don't deserve, we haven't earned, but he makes them happen anyway. That's God's favor on our life. God's favor on our occupation, our health, our relationships. God's favor in everything we're doing. We just need to involve him in everything we're doing. We find him by talking with him, reading his word. We seek God by praying and praying often. Here's our tip for today. We're talking about calm water, something we need to be doing in calm water. Calm water generally requires longer casts. That's right. We got a little wind blowing like we have today. Okay, quite a bit of wind is showing up here in Oklahoma here lately the last week or so. Uh, but quite a bit of wind. When we got these windy days, uh, you, you don't have to make nearly as long a cast. You can get a lot closer to the fish. The, when it's dead calm out there, generally longer casts will catch more fish. So, guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. Whack them, whack them, whack them. And remember, I sure do love you.